Hello everyone, my name is Lenny Kaiser and today I'm going to be showing you how to create chord progressions really easily using one finger and playing one key at a time. I'll give you an example of what we're going to do. So you can see how effective that is by playing just one key, we've written a very complex chord progression. So let's get to it and build this from scratch. So first things first, we want to create two blank MIDI tracks. I'm going to delete that other one. And we want to rename our first one, Sender, and our second one, Receiver. And the reason for this is we're going to be adding all of our MIDI effects and generating our, our MIDI from the sender track and we're going to send it to the receiver which is going to have our instrument or our sound on it. So to do this we need to show the input and output section and on the sender track we want to change the MIDI output or the MIDI 2 to the receiver track and on the receiver choose the MIDI from and choose the sender. Essentially now we are sending MIDI from the sender to the receiver. Now let's add a sound to our receiver track. I'm going to add a grand piano. At this point I can hide my input and output section and I want to record enable both tracks. Now on the sender track I want to add the MIDI effect chord and essentially what chord is going to do, it's going to take any incoming note and the shift knobs are going to add notes on top of that note. So if I change this to plus three, it's going to play the note that I play and then the note that's also three semitones or three half steps or just the next three notes up on the keyboard. So when I have plus three semitones, this is going to be a minor third, which creates a minor chord. If I have plus four, this is now a major third. So in this case, we're going to be using a minor third. And I want to add a fifth above that, so that's going to be plus seven semitones. And let's add one an octave below at negative 12. After this, let's add the scale effect. And I'm going to choose the preset C minor. And so essentially scale is going to shift any incoming notes that are generated by chord to those only found in the C minor scale. So this is really effective for being able to just bounce around and play whatever notes we want on the keyboard. And the signal flow of it is my note is generated here on the MIDI track. It then goes through the chord effect, turning it into a chord and adding notes to it via the shift knobs. And then that is then shifted also by the scale effect so that it's only playing notes within C minor. And because of the routing that we used, we're generating the MIDI on the sender track, we can now record that information on the receiver track, and it's really handy. And there you go. I hope that's helpful. Thanks a lot.